This Week in Michigan Football History with Professor Greg Dooley. Good morning and happy homecoming to all the maize and blue fedora faithful back in town to see their defending Big Ten champs. For today's history lesson, we go back to 1949 as Coach Benny Eusterbahn and the Wolverines entered the season as defending back-to-back national champions. Michigan was on a remarkable 23-game winning streak and opened the schedule against the Spartans of Michigan State College in a game played exactly 73 years ago today at the Big House. The more things change, the more they stay the same. And wouldn't you know it, our friends from East Lansing had more on their minds than just football. Before the game, Spartan fans invaded Ann Arbor with the hope of executing a variety of pranks or crimes, depending on your perspective. One group snuck into Michigan Stadium and painted MSC in six-foot block letters at midfield and defaced the press box windows. Not cool. Another group carefully created a structure, a wooden frame meant to hold 60 cement bricks designed to completely block the iconic engineering arch on Central Campus. They actually rehearsed assembling the structure until they could complete the stunt within seven minutes and hopefully make a clean getaway. But shockingly, they clearly missed out one key aspect of the plan. And that's the thought that a group of cars containing piles of -of out-of-town students with giant pieces of wood and dozens of cement blocks just might raise the suspicion of locals and the police. Sure enough. The devious blockade devised by the Spartan Rapscallions was foiled even before it started. According to the Associated Press, blocks, frames, and boys were packed and sent home. When they got around to play the game, over 97,000 fans packed the big house to watch Oosterbahn and crew battle. All-conference back Chuck Ortman connected with Irv Wisniewski for a TD grab to take the lead. The Wolverines sealed the 7-3 victory when they foiled another Spartan plot, namely their attempt to score on four passes from the Michigan 15 in the final moments of the game. So go blue, beat Iris Terps, and for more, check out WTKA.com and MVictors.com for the Key Bank countdown to kickoff. This is Greg Dooley.